Hey guys, welcome to another awesome video. Who's Cisco Systems and why should you care? That's what I'm gonna cover in today's video. Hey guys, before we get started in full disclosure, I'm brand new to YouTube, would love to get some feedback. Please drop down in comments below any topics you would like me to cover in future videos. And now back to the video. Let's get right into it. I went to Wikipedia and took a snapshot here. So it's a publicly traded company. They're in the business of networking, IT networking, to be specific, hardware and software. Cisco has been around since 1984. That is significant. If you guys take a moment and step back and think about the evolution of technology, it's gonna boggle your mind. We didn't have an iPhone until 2007. And yet most of us can't imagine a life before the smartphones, right? So, um, you know, we gotta give some kudos to Cisco. They're headquartered in San Jose, uh, in Silicon Valley, right in my backyard. And their total annual revenue is around $52 billion. That is a very, very significant chunk. If you go and look at Cisco's competitors, like they are m significantly smaller than Cisco. So even at their largest competitor like Juniper is like 10 times smaller than Cisco and Cisco has about 76,000 employees on a global scale. Some of the things that Cisco makes, they make switches, routers, wireless, access points, uh, indoor and outdoor access points, wireless controllers. Um, what are wireless controllers? Very simply, these are the devices that are like the brains of the entire solution. And then these access points that are dummy report to the controller. And that's where you configure everything and you monitor and you control the entire wireless environment. Security. So things like traditional firewalls, next generation firewalls, next generation IPS or intrusion prevention, prevention system, endpoint security, cloud security. They're also into collaboration, right? So a voice over IP phone or a VoIP phone, uh, a video conferencing system, an audio conferencing system, contact center, right? So if you have ever called 1-800 number and somebody on the, on the other side picked up, you're talking to someone in the contact center. Cisco is a leader in selling contact center solutions. Uh, data center, uh, so things like, you know, Cisco Unified Computing System or UCS. So they make servers, right? Management and automation tools for managing your data center environment. They also specialize in data center security. Analytics naturally is a very big part because they sell all the stuff you need to be able to have visibility into it, right? All the routers, switches, servers, firewalls, all the different type of endpoints that Cisco sells, how are they performing? How is the network doing? You find that out through the analytics. They also happen to be, um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, video endpoints, right? So they make cameras, they make, um, a different type of video conferencing solutions uh, that you can purchase. They also happen to be in the IoT or the Internet of Things type devices. So once again, these could be um, outdoor uh, ruggedized camera systems. Um, and then, of course, they're in the business of software because for all the hardware they make, they need to be able to provide software for that hardware to operate intelligently. Um, so they make iOS, Nexus OS, Cisco One for access, Cisco One for WAN. So these are all the things Cisco does. Now the question is, as the Joker once said, why 
so serious, I'm going to turn it around and say, why should you care? I'm glad you asked. Cisco dominates the network industry. Like I said, you can Google them and search for their competitors and you'll be blown away how far ahead Cisco is in terms of total domination of that industry. If you still don't believe me, look at the screen. Crunchbase.com says Cisco has acquired over 220 companies in the past uh, 35 plus years of being in business. That is very, very significant. That's massive. Also, I believe personally Cisco is the leader in the industry when it comes to producing education content specific to networking because that's the area they specialize in. So things like Cisco Learning Network. This is the largest community of Cisco experts exchanging information on different type of forms. You can also learn different technologies completely free of charge available here once you create a free account on Cisco. Also, the different certifications that Cisco offers, uh, webinars and study resources. I mean, it's mind boggling. To me, like I said, no other vendor that I have ever come across and I've worked with a ton of vendors can even come close to what Cisco's capabilities are. And believe it or not, Cisco has their own Cisco Press. So check it out. Go to ciscopress.com and you'll see that Cisco has their own publications. There are a ton of different authors that are typically CCIEs. Some of them have multiple CCIEs and they basically write books and different topics based on the technologies that Cisco sells. But also to me where the value comes in is instead of like becoming a specialist in terms of what Cisco sells, where I have seen the biggest value is the fact that you can learn all the basics of networking, whether it's Cisco or any other vendor. Once you understand the basics, then you can kind of build on that and you can build a really amazing career in networking. So it's just, like I said, to me, absolutely world class. Also, if you're an IT student, Right. So if you're going to school right now, getting either a degree or maybe a certification in IT, um, this could be a great starting point for you. Uh, you should definitely consider CCNA certification as a starting point. Um, and this can this can give you a, an amazing head start. And if you happen to be a professional in the industry already, looking to make a career change. Let's see, let's say you are an accountant and you're sick and tired of just doing accounting all day long. Maybe it's time for a change. And networking is a very exciting field because there's so much stuff changing all the time. You'll always be learning something new. And also, if you happen to be an existing IT professional and you want to grow your career, Maybe you're a software developer, right? Now you want to add another layer of skill um, under your belt. Um, you know, networking is a great way to go. And a lot of the C-level executives or, you know, chief information officers or, you know, C-level guys, um, they happen to come from a diversified IT background with, of course, a lot of business knowledge. But in today's world, you have to have a very solid technical foundation and you can get that with Cisco. So with that, that's a wrap. Hope you liked today's video. If you did, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.